Chapter One An Invisible Ribbon It was five days until Christmas, and the snow had come. Soft and white, it covered the earth, making it shimmer and sparkle like the edges of a dream. It was five days until Christmas, and on the wide, open, snow-covered plains, someone was sneaking away from the herd, their hooves crunching lightly on the powdery ground beneath them, their fur glittering and glowing like starlight. It was five days until Christmas, and high in the frozen sky, great wings unfurled and flapped and soared in the falling snow. Bright yellow eyes blinked open, keeping a close watch on the world below. It was five days until Christmas, and the moon was shining, pearly and bright through a high window onto a maze of dusty shelves. In the quietness, the only sound that could be heard was that of little footsteps pattering down the book-lined corridors. It was five days until Christmas, and in the frosty night air, delicious smells wafted about like sorcerer's spells. In the shadows, two amber eyes opened, peeking out from their hiding place to check that the coast was clear. They wanted, more than anything, to step out from the dark and into the twinkling lights. But did they dare? It was five days until Christmas, and in dimly lit flower-dusted rooms, paws were washed thoroughly with soap and hot water. Eggs were cracked, sugar was poured, and ovens were lit. It was five days until Christmas, and in a room above the busy noise of a city, someone walked around in a circle three times before settling down for the night. They closed their eyes, but after a moment, a long lilac ear arched up into the air, shifting this way and that like a periscope, listening. It was five days until Christmas, and hidden amongst a tangle of ancient oak beams, someone was waiting patiently. They allowed the cold winter wind to shiver around their wings. The view really was marvellous from up here in the rafters, especially as it was upside down. It was five days until Christmas, and in a dark and cluttered room, someone was lying awake. They'd been awake for hours now. It was the same most nights, but something about this night in particular felt different. It was, as, it was as if there was something magical in the air. Carefully, they crept out of their little bed and slipped noiselessly past a row of other little beds. There were seven of them, but only six of them were being slept in. The figure tiptoed carefully so as not to wake the sleepers, then clambered up over boxes in the flickering candlelight until they reached a window. They began to hum a little song softly to themselves as they looked at the crisp, white, frozen world outside. Something very important had been lost, and they knew for certain that it was out there somewhere. They hadn't known where to look before, but now they had a clue. Would it help them find what they were looking for? It was five days until Christmas and a strand of winter magic was spiralling and twisting through the air. It was like an invisible ribbon that snaked and crisscrossed over the world, wrapping itself round each of the creatures in a neat bow, tying them together. Nobody knew it yet, but the invisible ribbon was leading them somewhere. It was pulling them into a snow-covered Christmas adventure.